Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to explore Delta Mon LoRa, which is the Delta Mon LoRa character by Alpha Paradise. Okay, so it's basically an anime character that uh, we're gonna look at today. How we are going to use a base diffusion model and to create characters, you know, inspired by Delta Mon. Okay, so we're gonna look that today, you know, in this video on Google Collab, we'll download the model weights and also the Delta Mon LoRa uh, weights that has been made available that can be used for both commercial and of course non-commercial purposes you can use it for commercial purposes for only ai related purposes you know if you are doing something with ai like creating 3d characters anime characters cartoons characters and things like that then you can use this model and also we combine that with any other base diffusion model to create you know similar looking anime inspired by delta mon so let's start our experimentation we're going to do this in google collab so without you know spending any much time let's start uh, looking into the code and how we can you know create a uh, similar looking characters all right so we are going to start this experimentation in google collab guys and you can see i i have connected to a hundred gpu on collab and i'm using collab pro you will be able to do this on v100 or t4 with high ram as well you can give it a try on t4 high ram but collab v100 and a100 will be okay to do that now i have installed diffusers and pift pift library and the diffusers library to work with because we're going to use with the image model in this case and we're going to use the lora uh, adapters and that's why we're going to use pift for that and let me just delete that and here i'm going to add a new code cell once you do that you need an hf key and i have that key with me so i'm going to create a new secret here hf key and i'm going to pass that key here and i'm just going to do that here key and then we are done with that okay so the key is there to make this enabled and i have enabled that you can see the key has the, the access has been granted you know from this secrets to this notebook a runtime that we have now i'm gonna import torch so let's do that so import torch and from diffusers and then i'm going to use the diffusion pipeline diffusion pipeline and let's do that i'll probably make this a bit smaller import torch from diffusers import diffusion pipeline that is done the next is we're going to create a pipe variable so let's do that and use the pipeline so i'm going to use diffusion pipeline dot from pre-trained but i'm not going to use these models uh, so i'm just going to re remove this and here i'm going to use this model so for this we're going to use an imagine excel 3.1 model and it's by caglio istro lab okay and it's a very good model you say you can see they have a third version now excel third v3 version 3 series they have improved a lot on their anime theme text to image very good as, as i told earlier you know about japanese industry where we have more you know in japan and you know also in some part of korea we see a lot of anime you know like this so in japan you will see a lot of anime cartoons and all of those things. I'm, I'm not a fan but you know i, I have seen a lot of people doing that and and probably if you're working of some kind of 3d models for these anime and all these kind of models are really helpful you know and you can find it out everything over here so that's what i'm going to do but again we're going to use the uh delta mon okay that's our target okay so let's first get get this model here copy the path take a bit of time to download the weights and everything so what i'm going to do next is define a data type of the torch so torch underscore d type i'm going to use the float 16 so torch d type and this is going to be torch dot float 16 so let's do that here and after that just use safe tensors okay so i let, let me gonna pass safe tensors and that should be true it's a boolean value and then we're gonna bind that with cuda Okay, so two, and then we're gonna write CUDA here just to make sure we are utilizing the GPU. 
Now this takes a bit of time guys. It has to connect with hugging face, gets everything, you know, and all. you can see it's downloading a lot of files around 1.39 gigabytes, 246 MB, one, you know, again here coming in. So it will download here 5 GB and all of those things you can see. Now, after that, we're going to download Delta Mon. For that, let me go to my GitHub and let me go to my gist. By the way, this is my GitHub repository. We have crossed 1K follower. Thank you so much for following the GitHub repository. Guys, as you can see, we have around more than 200 repositories. Of course, there are some private repositories, but you know, you can find everything, almost everything with AI, Genetive AI in this GitHub. You can just go ahead and take that. Now, I'm going to take the path. Uh, let me just copy this thingy from here. I'm going to download Delta Mon Lora here. So let me just give a text and write download Delta Mon Lora. Okay, and then I'm just going to pass that here. Wget do that, and you know it will download the files and everything. So let me just add, and now let's go to file here, file viewer. And you can see we have our delta mon beta dot safe tensors okay around this size which is saved here okay you can refresh that this is where it has been saved now after that we're going to load the lora weights low rank adaptation i have a lot of videos on that you can watch that in my fine tuning playlist a loading lora weights okay now here we're going to use the pipe variable that we have initiated on top and then i'm going to use the lora weights class okay the function lora weights no load lora excuse me load lora weights and as this is just here in the repository you can just keep a dot or something and define the weight name so sad it doesn't show you anything and the weight name is nothing but the delta mon whatever file name that we have delta mon underscore beta and dot safe tensors and then we are done guys now we're going to do the image generation part Okay, so let's do an image generation so let me just write it image generation you have to specify prompt negative prompt and you can also you know follow the uh, official you know example prompt they have given uh, on on there you can have a look at that prompt and then i need you know a negative prompt and i have a gist for that let me just copy it from there i just created just to save some time And I'm just gonna go raw copy control a control C come back here paste and then I'm just gonna uh, make this a bit this and what we are saying let me just do it probably this makes sense now let me just show that so prompt this is how the prompt structure is that you have a Lora Delta Mon beta 1 version and then I'm writing one go girl delta mon beta solo blue eyes simple background you know uh, long sleeves white background and things like that so i have a bunch of you know prompt and then i have negative prompt that i don't want explicit filter not safe for work and you know uh, like blurry and low quality everything that you don't want to see in your picture can go into the negative prompt then what i'm doing is i'm saying image pipe and then I'm saying prompt. Probably let me just. We are passing too much tokens over here. Probably I, I can just uh, get rid of few. Okay. Not everything, guys. You know, let me just till here. Okay. And hopefully we have making sense now. Negative prompt. Let me see if there is no repetitions. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense uh extra digits let me just remove this signature let's try it out guys and we'll see that okay so number of inference steps guidance scale seven height and width of the image prompt negative prompt getting the image saving it and then just getting the image out let's see what happens you can see the in inference steps are like they have been started to 28 steps 
and it gets saved somewhere here okay and you can see output png and the output which is which is really great i, I love the output you know, it's so beautiful you can see it over here the anime that we have of delta mon okay you can find out uh, fantastic now this is how you can you know generate uh, anime using this model and also the uh, delta mon i uh, the character if you get any error guys regarding the token length exceeded or something because diffuser has some limitations you know with the number of input tokens for a text to image generation model then you can use this library called compile okay i'm not gonna probably cover this in this video but you know you can you can uh, not compile by the way it's el you can have a look at that library it's a very good prompt enhancement library for transformers type text embedding system that basically helps you with the truncations embeddings and pulling kind of techniques to basically you know uh, enhance your prompts and you can even you know consider the larger uh, token window when we are putting that in an input now this is what it is you know i just wanted to create a quick video that how you can you know use a delta mon icon you know to uh basically with a diffuser model to generate anime 3ds and things like that that with delta mon laura with the animagine base model you can replace the base model with anything else but animagine is very good with the anime generation that's why i picked that model now i hope you like the delta mon laura which is a laura character from alpha paradise and this was the idea you know to experiment with this this con concludes our experimentation with delta mon laura guys that's all for this uh, video guys i hope you got a bit of idea that how you can use a, a like a weight or a lora adapter or a lora weights and uh, for of course this was for delta mon but you can do it for any others as well if that is available combine that with a base model and a text to image generation model and then you can create uh animes icons 3d icons and similar artifacts if that model is compatible and supports that this notebook will be available on my github repository you can uh, find the link in the description of the video and uh, if you have any questions thoughts or feedback please let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels those information are available on channel banner and channel about us if you like the content i am creating please hit the like icon and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet do subscribe the channel share the video and channel with your friends and to peer thank you so much for watching see you in the next one